Hey there, welcome back to my channel, or hello if you're new, my name is Raven, and today we are having a snow day vlog. We were hit with a pretty good bit of snow, which meant Zach had to stay home from work. Starting off, I spent a really long time glued to all of the windows to watch the snow fall. I've never lived anywhere with very snowy winters. I've always been in love with snow. That might be because I've never lived anywhere with snowy winters and I've only had it in small bursts and it's a novelty for me, but I feel like when I do get to have snow, it's like the rest of winter is worth dealing with because the snow makes it all okay. Zach had to basically peel me away from the windows to get me to eat breakfast because I just wanted to watch and make sure that the snow didn't get lonely and leave. After eating, I got bundled up and went outside to explore a little bit and listen to the snow crunching. Zach did didn't come out with me so I didn't stay out for very long but it felt really energizing and invigorating. I think the biggest complaint I would have if we moved somewhere with snowy winters would be the hassle of many layers. I think a part of that annoyance is that I never need to use these kinds of clothes so I don't have a lot of the clothes that work well in the first place and most of them don't fit but the idea of having some wool skirts and undergarments and socks is just kind of dreamy. <laughs> when I came inside, I really, really wanted to just dig into some crafting. So this winter I've been playing around with different slipper ideas inspired by the slippers that my grandma has always made for everyone in the family. Mine are nowhere near as cool as hers and I wish I had a pair to show you, but basically the construction is a square that she seems in certain locations to create the shape of a, sli of a slipper. And I've been playing around with different ways to come up with that effect and to try and make some cozy footwear. This day I was finishing up a set of slippers for Zach. Basically I knit a tube to reach from his toes to near the ankle and then I started knitting flat to create the foothold. This is a not great explanation and I'm really sorry. If I can convince myself to make more I will try to make a designated video or TikTok. I actually really need to make some more because some of my pairs have holes in them already. Since I was still in the mood to experiment with slippers I wanted to see if my knitting machine was as bad as I remember it being and if there is a way to make it work for slippers. Since it's a smaller size tube, I thought it might be great for slippers if I could get it to work. Not surprisingly, it was even worse than I remember it being and it actually might be what broke the spell that had me excited to make slippers in the first place because I don't think I've made any more since trying to get the machine to function. We settled in to watch some Ghibli movies that we hadn't seen and after I resisted the urge to incinerate the penguin, I decided that my next craft needed to be a cross stitch. I love cross stitch pieces. I think they are the perfect marriage of pixel art and crafting and I love how tidy and perfect cross stitching can turn out. However, I should say right off the bat, I am not good at cross stitching because I do not know how to count. It's very apparent with cross stitching. I can get away with fudging numbers and math and making things look like a design feature when it's knitting or crochet, but I cannot make it work with cross stitch. But today I said it's fine, I've got this and started working on a mini wheel of the year from the witchy cross stitch pattern book that we've had for a few years. I absolutely adore this pattern, but I haven't done many of the patterns in it because of the whole counting issue. So I've been looking through and flagging some of the smaller patterns that I'm really excited to try out and maybe I won't use them all as cross stitch patterns and I can like incorporate them into some of my other hobbies. I don't know. I think this day was the first time seeing Whispers of the Heart and I didn't realize it was a non-magical movie. So I was really surprised, but I really loved it. It was very sweet. And while I was watching movies and trying to learn how to count, Zach decided to make cookies. The recipe created a pretty wet batter instead of a normal dough. So they had the texture of muffins. So we, we've been calling them mookies. It was a really good day and I wish I had been more thorough with filming, but I'm glad that I did film what I did. I've shared a lot of my harder times to try and help people feel less alone, but it feels different when I get to show days that are just wonderful and not feeling heavy and weighed down. I hope you're having a wonderful day or that tomorrow is better. Please hit subscribe if you would like to see more cozy, comfy days, and leave me a sword emoji in the comments to let me know that you stayed until the end. I will see you next week. Bye!